Welcome to Tokyo Tuesday. If you're a regular viewer, welcome back. Today, I am hanging out in the back streets of Akihabara, and there's a purpose for this because today I'm going to be showing you guys the best and hopefully some of the cheapest places to find or buy cheap electronics. We all know that Akihabara Tokyo is like the place for electronics. Like like this little thing here. What, it, what even is this? This is amazing. That is so neat. I, I, th I think it's a scooter. It's got no pedals. It's got to be some kind of electronic scooter. So today we're going deep on the back streets of Akihabara because there are so many hidden gems back here. Like on this street here, there's an entire shop just for goldfish and it's like a really old shop. Right here, all these pom products are from Ehime, which is the home of Sherry from Sherry Berry in Ehime. Hi. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Who's that character? Mika! And Mikan is also from Ehime. Yes, he's more famous than me. There we go. <laughs> the rest of this vlog will be conducted with Mikan instead of Sherry. No, no, don't leave me. thousand things I could talk about here in Akihabara including these people in costumes back here but today we're gonna go 100% focusing on how to find cheap electronics the reason we're doing this is that Sherry has come out to Tokyo today and she needs to do a little bit of shopping you need what like a hard drive and a memory card or something yes she needs hard drives and memory cards so today we're gonna see if we can't find her the cheapest option to buy those Most people, including Sherry, will know about the big shops like Yorobashi Camera. It is a little noisy in here, so let me do this part really quick. Like this entire section right here, this whole section is just for hard drives. One of the things that Sherry's looking for is memory cards, and those are right behind us. But you see, this is where we find our first issue because the memory cards at a place like Yorobashi Camera are heavily overpriced. What size are you looking for? Uh, 64, maybe? So a 64 gigabyte card is gonna cost like 128 bucks. Let's look at a lower grade of card. Even down here, when we're looking at only the Ultra Plus, a 64 gigabyte card is still looking at costing about 120. These prices are insanely inflated. Since Sherry's the one looking, how are you feeling about the prices so far? That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But there are ways around this. I'm gonna teach you how to mitigate some of these prices, but let's get out of here first. Okay. All right. Okay, we are finally out of Yorobashi camera. It's nice in there, but it's really loud. So, super quick tip when it comes, I'm like hand in your face, sorry. <laughs> super quick tip when it comes to getting things cheaper at Yorobashi camera. Most people don't realize this, but you can negotiate the prices. Another thing that you don't realize is the Yorobashi camera prices are typically slightly inflated by at least 10% because Yorobashi camera has a point card and they give you back 10% worth in points. If you give up the points, if you're like, oh, I don't need to get any points, they can usually knock about 10% at least off of the price. Also, if you're buying anything in bulk, like for example, when I set up my house, I bought everything. I bought TV, refrigerator, rice cooker, you name it. Buying that much in bulk, I was like, well, you know, this shop offered me this price. Can you guys beat that? At first they were like, ah, oh, no, not really. And I was like, okay, well, thank you. I'm gonna head to that shop. And then I was like, wait. And they knocked off like another six or 7% for me. Despite being a big chain shop, you wouldn't expect them to be able to bring down the price, but they can and they do. One of the biggest things is just being willing to give up the points that you would get. And if you're a traveler and you don't have a point card anyway, you're good. Oh boy, it is surprisingly hot out today. Sherry had to change her sweater. And now that she's complaining that we're both pink. It was like similar pink. Yeah. It, See? It's like, it's more peach than it is pink. But uh. also, Sherry just pulled something out of her bag that takes me right back to the beginning of this video. What do you got? Ta-da! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. 
me get involved. Now I'm going to show you where to get the cheaper electronics right here in Akihabara. Your first step is going to be to go over to the other side of Akihabara station, the main side. In fact, now that I come to think about it, you could just actually start over on that side. Yeah. <laughs> also, this is a really good example of what happens when you don't plan out your fonts. Aki Hab Era Electric Town Exit. Doesn't make any sense. <laughs> One of the first things you're going to want to do is get across the street onto the other side. These back streets here are host to hundreds of tiny little shops. So my first big tip for you guys and for Sherry today is to come into this back street area right here. The vast majority of the cheap shops that you're going to find are going to be right back here and you can tell from the crowds. Look at this. Look at all those people. Crazy. Exploration here is key, but I'm going to show you two of my personal favorite shops just to get cheap electronics, memory cards, hard drives, all that stuff. Let's get going. Okay, one of the first shops, if not one of the best, is actually this one right here. This is the shop right here. This place is really good in particular for memory cards, so let's go check it out. So looking at that, even the Extreme Pro 256 gigabyte is still cheaper than the 64 gigabyte at Yodobashi Camera. It's insane. They have everything here. Lights and USB hubs, charging hubs, a whole range of power banks, dirt cheap action cameras. Sherry can't believe the price. They actually work? Well, at that quality. Ah, uh, well, yeah. And the last shop I'm going to show you specifically is this one right here. It's called Akibao. This place is also dirt cheap and has a lot of really cool, neat stuff. I'll give you a little preview, and then we'll start to wrap this up for today. One of the best things is that this Akibao shop has multiple locations like this little one here. They have dagashi as well. Aww. Sherry got a memory card. Yodobashi Camera was quoting us like 120 bucks for the memory card. Amazon quoted us like 50 bucks for the memory card and you know what I know there are a lot of people out there who are like oh you got to support the shops don't support Amazon well you know you got to support yourself too if it's going to cost you 20 30 bucks more somewhere else get, get it cheaper I don't know I'm just a believer in, in getting it at the cheapest place always and how much did you get it for it was like 3200 yen 3200 yen huge savings simply by going into the back streets. So that is my pro tip for you guys for today. If you're looking for cheap electronics here in Akihabara, hit the back streets, explore some of those shops. I think that's pretty much the gist of it. And that is pretty much it this week's Tokyo Tuesday. I hope you learned something from it. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely leave me a thumbs up. If you have a favorite secret place to buy things like electronics or anything, leave it in the comments below along with any questions you might have. I'm going to be with Sherry actually for the next couple of days as I head up north, so feel free to check out her channel as well. Thank you guys so much as always, and we will see you guys again real soon. Bye-bye.